Hi everyone, I'm Janie and this is Journey with Janie Hypnotherapy on YouTube. If this is your first time joining me, I welcome you and I truly hope that you will subscribe. Uh, so I'm really excited to be here today with someone very special. She's not only a family friend, uh, she's someone that I have come to so admire through the YouTube community. Uh, Lynn has her own YouTube channel. She's uh, an, an amazing tarot card reader, uh, intuit, and, and, a, and a wonderful soul that I can see already thousands of people are subscribing to and, and listening and, and kind of being a part of, you know, Lynn's channel every single week. So Lynn, thank you for being here. I, I'm sending so much love to you for showing up in this space with me today. Thank you for inviting me. Oh gosh, it's it's a pleasure. We did this together uh, a few weeks ago. Well, it's probably been a month or two by now. And, and so I got to be a guest on your channel, Lynn, and now you're a guest on mine. So I feel really excited about that. Um, we're going to do some hypnosis and this is not something I often do on the channel as far as a live session. So I'm really excited about this. I know that you have an upcoming surgery and so I really want to help you to prepare mentally, physically, spiritually for the surgery on your knee and also to, to do some preemptive work to get your body ready to heal quickly and to be able to get you through that recovery process uh, in a very efficient way. So you're back on your feet and feeling better than ever. How does that sound? Good. That sounds wonderful. Good. That sounds wonderful. Just to help get rid of a little anxiety would be great. Uh, you bet. You bet. Because you've had the surgery before, so you already yeah. feel like you know what to expect. But that can sometimes be that can work against us, right? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. I want to just give you a moment to talk about yourself. I, I, I just want to share you. I want to share you with everybody here because you're such a great person. And uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, your channel, why you started your channel, what it's about. We'd love to hear from you. Um, well, uh, I started my channel because I saw other YouTube readers and they were reading cards and they were reading political cards. And I've always been into politics. And I've been reading cards for over 50 years. Wow. And I noticed how much they calmed me down. And I thought, you know, I'm just so anxious because of the way that the current events are going at that time. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm just so anxious. And they helped me so much. I wonder if I could help people. Mm -hmm. So I just started uh, doing it. Uh, not knowing anything about it, my grandkids came to visit one day and hooked me up and I was just on my own because they left and went back to Boston and I didn't even know how to work an iPad. I still don't. But anyway, <laughs> I'm limping through. But uh, but I love doing it and the yeah. community I've been out there is just overwhelming. Yeah. I can't believe how much acceptance they've given me. I can't believe how busy I've been because I do personal readings too. That's right. And, and my personal readings are the same as my YouTube channel. It's, uh, you know, Lynn Tarrant readings at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just have them put their phone number in if they feel comfortable or, or email, you know, in the email and I can get, get them set up with an appointment quicker. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but it's been quite a trip at this time in my life to, <laughs> to take off on something like this when you're approaching 80 and just, uh, be able to help others. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world. Oh, now I know everybody right now just took a big gasp because it's hard to believe you're, you're pushing 80. You're just, you're such a beautiful woman and you've, and you're doing so much. I mean, it feels like you're in a new chapter of your life. I, I imagine you didn't even think would happen at this stage in your life. You're a great grandmother. Is that right? To yeah. Start? My oldest great grandchild just graduated from high, high school. Oh my God. Last month. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Amazing. I'm going to put her on the front of my next video. Sometimes I stick pictures up in front. I love that you do. And, that. uh, yeah. yeah. And that's my great grand. That's my great granddaughter. <laughs> the oldest one. Yeah. It's amazing. But she's, she's 18 now. And, yeah. uh, yeah. And then I, I still do massage therapy too. In fact, I gave a massage a couple of days ago. Did you really? And I do uh, usually 90 minute sessions because or sometimes two hours. I start out to do 90 minutes and then I, I'm a, I feel like the energy comes through me to heal people and I get into that mode and I don't even get tired and I don't even 
you know, when it's getting close to two hours, my shoulder is start hurting a little bit and I'll look at the clock and I'll think, oh, no wonder. It's time, time to shut this <laughs> You've down. You've been at this for a while. <laughs> yeah. You're a true healer. I mean, that's true. And you know what? I think too, one of the things that I've noticed in your YouTube channel is that it's not just tarot reading. You're, you're connecting with people in a really beautifully interpersonal way. I think that there's a part of you that people connect to as wanting a friend or a mother or a grandmother in their life that maybe they don't have. And I see the way people comment on your channel and I can see that they, they come to hang out with you, Lynn. You know, I think tarot reading and, and talking about what maybe what's going on in the political arena is, is interesting, but there's something so special about your personality and you just show up as yourself. I think that's what's so fun. You just, you're just you, you know, you don't put on airs. You're not trying to be someone you're not. And I think that's so refreshing and hard to find. So yeah. well, I appreciate the compliment. Thank you so much. And I, and I do get some beautiful comments and, and a lot of people say you remind me of my grandma or you're just yeah. like my mom or, right. or I feel like I'm sitting at the table with you. And uh, that makes yeah. me feel really good. Yeah. That's what we all need. I think there's been a yeah. lot of loneliness, a lot of uh, obviously isolation, certainly in this last year, with the pandemic and quarantining and people are looking for those online platforms to be able to find somebody to, to disconnect with, to have support through. So, so I'm um, sending you so much love and light for everything that you do out there. And so glad to have you here. And I would love Thank to just me. give back to you as you know, I know that you're always giving to others. So this is going to be a session for you, Lynn to prepare you for your surgery and get you in the right mindset and get your body ready to experience the, the procedure and then to heal from it quickly. Okay. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Yeah. Good. So on, I'm on looking my forward end, to it. I'm looking forward to it as well. And uh, this really feels a lot like what I do with my clients on a regular basis. You know, as, as a hypnotherapist, I offer, remote sessions, just like what we're about to do right here. So for anyone out there that's listening right now, if you're, if you're watching from home, this is what it would look like. You and I would be on a Zoom call just like I am with Lynn. We'd be talking just like this for a few minutes where you'd get to just tell me where you're at in life, what, you, what goals you have and how I can support. And then we're going to move you to a relaxing place, which Lynn is about to do in just a moment. Somewhere where you can just lie back, put your head somewhere where it's protected and supported. And then we go into the hypnotic session. So Lynn, that's what we're going to do with you now. Okay. And I'm going to have Alrighty. you move. And, and while you're moving yourself to a comfortable place, I'll continue to just let everybody know what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. That sounds so great. So you, you, you go on and, and get yourself comfortable. So everybody, this is what we're going to do with Lynn. Lynn is going to go ahead and get herself into okay. a comfortable place. And and in your home, if we were to connect, you might already be in a comfortable position. You, you, could, or you could show up in the, in the Zoom call already sitting in your recliner or on your couch, or some people even will lie on the, on the surface of their bed. So whatever works for you is fine by me. We would spend about 20 minutes just getting to know where you're at, what your goals are. So we make sure that we're aligned with what we're doing. And then... I will guide you into a hypnotic state. So in that case, you get to be right where you're most comfortable. You don't have to worry about jumping in the car and going and finding a place to park and dealing with traffic. You don't have to go anywhere. And in fact, you can be in your most comfortable clothes. I wouldn't mind if you're in your PJs. I just want you to be in a really, really comfortable place, feeling safest and, and obviously knowing that I'm, I'm going to be so very present, it will feel as if I'm right there with you. And that's the truth. Well, Lynn, you have found yourself a very comfortable chair. That's, that looks perfect. Can you see me? I can't I tell. can see you perfectly fine. Oh, yes. good. Yes, I can. You can hear me. I even I brought the mic over. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. We're going to relax you. And I want you to know that there may be points of this session, Lynn, where you may hear me totally. The conscious mind likes to at times be listening in and that is okay. There will be other times when you might feel as if you're falling asleep and I want you to allow that as well. So whatever happens is totally okay. 
and I'll be waking you up at the end of this session. Okay. And you'll feel so much better. Are you ready? I'm excited. I listen to you when I go to sleep at night. Oh, so I've heard, I've heard your voice a lot. So I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, oh, Lynn, that makes me so happy to hear. Okay. So you can hear me all right. Am I coming yes. to clear for you? Good. All right. Lynn, I want you to check in with your body. Just make sure that everything is very well supported and well aligned. Good. And if at any point you feel like you need to adjust, I want you to allow yourself to do that. You'll still be in the hypnotic state and I'll make sure you go even deeper with every breath. So I want you just to let go now and I can see you're ready to do that. Now your eyelids are already closed. That's good. And as they close now, Lynn, I just want you to allow them to feel very heavy and relaxed. Heavy and relaxed. Heavier and heavier. Every time I say the word heavy, the eyelids are very heavy and relaxed. Good. You just feel them melting right into the other. That's good, Lynn. That's very good. And I want you just to allow the breath to move through you just like that. Nice and slow. You'll take that breath in, draw it all the way up through the crown of your head and out, down through the body, through the soles of your feet and out. That's very good, Lynn. And you're allowing your awareness to begin to change. A shift in your thoughts. It happens very quickly, and I want you to allow that. Thoughts will begin to quiet. And you'll notice that there's a static and chatter of the mind that just quiets. Everything quiets. It's nice and quiet, so calm and at peace. Good, Lynn. Now just listen to the sound of my voice and just allow yourself to sink, sink into the chair. Sink, sink into the chair. From the tips of your toes to the arches of your feet and into your heels, Feel the sensation of your physical body anchoring into the hypnotic journey. It anchors in. You'll feel as if you're just being pulled in. But it feels good and it feels right. And you're allowing that now. Allow your feet to feel heavier and heavier. And as they do, you drop deeper and deeper into calm, into comfort. Comfort. And I want you to imagine yourself most comfortable. More and more, you'll feel that comfort rolling deep into the tissue, muscle, bone structure. Comfort moves deep into the cells of your body. Comfort rises and intensifies, now rising into your legs, nice and slow. Take your time. Allow the calves and the shins to receive the message that it is time for them to experience deep comfort. There you go. You're already dropping in now. The awareness is already changing. You're shifting away from the critical and conscious mind and your body relaxes deeper, knowing it is safe here, knowing that it is being healed here from the inside out. This is a healing space, healing space. Breathe in this truth. Now draw your attention up to the knees, nice and slow. Take your time. Gently bring your attention to the kneecaps, to the cartilage, 
the tissue, the bone, the muscle, all the way into the knees now, right knee and left, left knee and right. Just let go now as you focus on the relaxation that builds in the body. The comfort you feel is yours. I want you to take it and intensify it. And let it roll up into the thighs, into the thighs, into the thighs, into the thighs. Deep into the thigh muscles. intensifying as it rises to the waist. And like a river of relaxation, let it roll around your body now, Lynn. Let it roll around and around. In a clockwise position around the body. Right around the core. You just let go. Everything is okay. You're right where you're meant to be at this exact moment. And you feel the mind quieting more and more. Your awareness is shifting and your senses are heightened and that's just exactly where you're meant to be. I want you to focus on one thought. One thought. The thought is healing. Healing, healing, healing. Good, you just let it go, you just let it go. And red is the color of recovery and healing. Red is the color of recovery and healing. Red fuels the cells for recovery and healing. A powerful color. I want you to let it rise now. Rise up the spine. Roll now across your shoulders. And like a burst, I want you to let it just pour through the entire body, cascading down the arms, the legs, and moving all the way up the neck and into the face, the crown of your head, through every cell of the body, down the back of the neck, down the back, the thighs, the knees, the ankles, the toes. Red is the color of recovery and healing. We infuse it to this body right now. It is with you right now, Lynn. You invite it in. I want you to hear yourself deep within. Say yes to healing. Yes to the red light of recovery. Yes to the wonderful way it makes you feel right now. And this red is a beautiful hue and it changes. With every thought of it, it's a different shade. But it's all the same. All the reds, the deepest, powerful blood reds, and the brightest candy apple red. And it's moving through your bloodstream. Connecting to every cell, fueling your cells, preparing for recovery, quick 
recovery. Quick recovery. From the knee procedure, just around the corner now. Your body is ready. Your body is ready. Now let us clear your mind. Soften your heart. There you go. Let that breath go. Everything is okay. From the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. It is time to clear your mind. Soften the heart so that every beat is nice and slow, rhythmic, and at peace. Rhythmic and at peace, for you are at peace. You trust the road ahead. You trust the power, and capabilities, and functionality of this part. You trust the red light, sending you into a fast, effective, efficient recovery. All is right and well. Follow my count. 20 to zero. Follow my count. 20 to zero. Calming the mind. But everything is okay. Calm the mind. Quiet the mind. Clear the mind. Twenty. But everything is okay. See yourself on procedure day. See yourself waking. Nineteen. And notice that you have x-ray vision. You're looking right into your heart. And you can feel and see and hear the beat of that heart. It is calm. It is at peace. A trusting heart. 19 is 18. One beat at a time. At 70, you're letting go. Very good. Every deep breath you're taking right now, it's a sign that you are letting go. Letting go of all that does not serve or belong to you. You're letting go. 17 is 60. The red light moves through you. From crown to root. From shoulders to toe. Sixteen is fifty. The mind is quieted, calm. All unwanted, unneeded, unsupportive thoughts just drift away. Let them lift up from you now and drift away. Everything is okay. Sixteen. 15, you're in good hands. And you're taking such wonderful care of your body. Wonderful care of this precious body. Precious body. It has carried you through so much. It has shown up in tremendous ways. And what you feel now from your heart space is immense gratitude, the deepest gratitude. This body has moved through every moment of your life. This body deserves the care you are giving it now. It is ready to receive the procedure and heal from the procedure because you have so much more brilliant work to do. 
as a healer, as a light worker. You must care for this body. The journey continues on. It is prepared for the procedure in every way by mind, by cells, by strength, by energy. Good, you're doing so good. Fourteen is thirteen. Let go then. Feel yourself just melt into the space of red light, a recovering light, preparing you for all that you need in the weeks ahead. Everything is okay. Thirteen is twelve. See yourself that day moving along heading off to the medical facility and the heart continues to beat slow and steady slow and steady then you're amazed at how relaxed you feel amazed at how relaxed you feel on procedure It feels so good, you'll experience an overwhelming sense of relief. Overwhelming sense of relief. Twelve now is eleven. There's the angel number. I want you to see your angels around you that day. Feel the flapping of their large, expansive wings. Your guides are with you that day. Hear the whispers of your spirit guides sending you messages, assuring you that everything is okay. and feel your ancestors right there with you. Their arms around you. Proud of all that you are and all that you bring into each and every space. Proud of your courage and strength. They are with you on that day as they are every day. They are with you especially in moments when you need them most. For healing of mind, body, and spirit, the divine team in the unseen comes in closer, much, much closer. And with them, they send the white light, the divine white light. Clearing your mind, your body, and spirit of all that does not serve you. Clearing your mind, body, and spirit of all that does not serve you. Good. Now, ten. Drop in deeper at nine. You just sink into the chair. Sink into the knowing that everything is okay into the peace you feel growing in your mind, your body, your spirit. Eight now is the balance. I want you to imagine there's an eight right in front of you. And you're tracing that eight. And with every time you move your finger low to high and back down again, you drop deeper and deeper into that balanced breath, into your balanced thoughts, because your mind is clear now to 
seven, you are in your heart space. And the heart chakra is green, a lime green. And green is also a pain relieving color. It moves a wonderful chemical through your entire body that is natural and that soothes the body and relieves any discomfort. And so the green now is moving through your body just like the red. And you're feeling more comfort than ever before. And you draw that green light, soothing light, down into your knee, particularly the left knee. And you let the green light and the red light of recovery and pain relief just ooze its way deep into the muscle, the tissue, the joints, cartilage, bone, cells. And at five, as you check in with your body now, you are very aware of how calm, how relaxed, how comforted you are, comforted you are, how at ease you feel with the procedure just around the bend, how at ease you are, Lynn. It's a wonderful feeling. It's yours. I want you to take it, amplify it, intensify it, sink deeper into that ease. Six is five now at four. Everything is okay. You're right where you're meant to be. It's all right. Letting go more and more at three. Just letting go. Just letting go now into deep peace within, throughout, and all around. You're ready now. Two is one. Let go. Let go. There you are. I want you to notice the red and green light. are not just moving through the body. They're seeping out and around you so that not only is the body in a very powerful healing space, but everything around you is all receiving the same light of recovery, healing, peace, comfort, so that the chair you lie in, and the bed you sleep in, and the walls that surround you as you recover are all perfectly aligned in this healing vibration. The lamps, the pillows, the dishes, the soap used to cleanse your body. Everything in your space conspires for your greatest good. Everything in your space is here for your healing journey. Everything you touch, everything in your presence aligns with this vibration. Just let it go. With every deep breath, you are making space within to receive all that you have heard and received here. Your body is ready, ready to be healed, ready to 
have a very special medical procedure operated by trusting professionals, people that will do your body so good, caring for you in the ways you need. You will notice so much more comfort, comfort prior to, during, and after the procedure. You'll notice a shift, a wonderful shift in your thoughts as they rise to higher vibrations of positivity. You trust the road ahead. All is well and right. Loved ones will be there to support you and those all around both the divine team and earth side will be here sending positive loving energies your way sending healing thoughts directly into your body into your mind and into your energy field And it is now that all that are here, all that are sharing the space right now, thousands of people around the world, all hold hands, envision holding hands, surrounding Lynn, and sending loving, healing, comforting energy and vibration directly into her field of energy. And as we all collectively hold in this moment here and now, all that is in Lynn's greatest good, so it is, and so it shall be. Then receive the energy coming in now. You'll feel a bit of a, a jump inside. It might feel like an electrical pulse. I want you to allow yourself to feel the energies of all who are here. Sending you comfort, love, and healing energy intentions and vibrations mixing with the red light of recovery the green light release from any discomfort notice how calm and relaxed you are in your mind how at peace and ease you feel in your heart and you'll keep this feeling with you day after day after day, waking refreshed and renewed, the light on your feet, light in your heart, in your mind, and ready, ready, you're ready, everything is okay. I want you to take another big deep breath for me now, Lynn. Big deep breath. And as you exhale, you are recognizing this physical body holding so much grace and gratitude for this physical body. Notice the calm you are experiencing in your mind and heart. Keep this with you at one. At two, the green light that eases and soothes this body, the red light of recovery will remain with you. Three now is four. You are surrounded by so many countless people in your corner, sending you healing vibrations. 
best intentions for your greatest good. Four now is five. At five, I want you to slowly begin to open your eyes, Lynn, nice and slow with a big deep breath. And you are now wide awake back in your conscious mind in the physical body. You'll notice a shift in every way up into a higher vibration of all that is good and right. And I want you just to let yourself be right there. Good. Lynn, you did great. Welcome back. Mm. Well done. That was wonderful. Um, I loved it because my Reiki lights, I call them Reiki lights, kept coming on and the purple hues and the, Good. and the, you know, through my, I can feel, like I said, the whole room just went totally mm. purple about the last 10 minutes or so. And I thought, oh, this is so healing. Oh, that's exactly so what you you did so great. Yeah. Lynn. Felt so good. You deserve it. You're going to do so, so great. I mean, you're just going to be amazed at how great you do. Your body is, is prepared and your mind is ready. So I want you to notice right now how calm you feel. The mind has quieted. A lot of that clutter and static of the mind is just muted out now. It's not needed, not helpful. And I want you just to take your hands, if you could for me, take your hands, rub them together like this, and feel that energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just place right over your heart, right over your heart, and close your eyes. Take some big, deep breaths. Mm. This is where you speak no words, no words necessary. Your healing energy, you're just putting it right into your own heart space. You are your own healer. You have everything you need within yourself to prepare and to heal and to recover in all the ways that you need and deserve. God. There's a smile. That's when we know you're feeling it just right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, Lynn. Oh, that's perfect. Just perfect. Well done, my friend. Well done. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You're so very welcome. And I'm just going to let everybody know, once again, please go visit Lynn, subscribe to her channel, please. If you've been one of my subscribers, it would mean the world to me. Lynn means so much to me. I want to see her channel grow. She's just a tremendously wonderful special light in the world. So you'll go to Lynn Tarot Readings. That's on YouTube. And then if you want to email her for a private tarot reading, that's Lynn Tarot Readings at gmail.com. And as for me, please do reach out to me if you'd like a session just like Lynn just had. So you can reach me at journeywithjanie.com. That's my website. Um, my email is contact at journeywithjanie.com. And I want you all to take wonderful, special care. And until next time, continue to journey within. <laughs>